Good morning, everybody. Sorry I uh, didn't do the last two days, been kind of busy. Um, but welcome to today's video for September 29th. Today's uh, devotion is titled Joyful Learning, and the Bible reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. In the city of Mysore, India, there's a school made of two refurbished train cars connected end to end. Local educators teamed up with the Southwestern Railway Company to buy and remodel the discarded coaches. The units were essentially large metal boxes, unusable until workers installed stairways, fans, lights, and desks. Workers also painted the walls and added colorful murals inside and out. Now, 60 students attend classes there because of the amazing transformation that took place. Something even more amazing takes place when we follow the Apostle Paul's command to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As we allow the Holy Spirit to uncouple us from the world and its ways, our thoughts and attitudes begin to change. We become more loving, more hopeful, and filled with inner peace. Something else happens too. Although this transformation process is ongoing, and often has more stops and starts than a train ride, the process helps us understand what God wants for our lives. It takes us to a place where we will learn to know God's will. Learning His will may or may not involve specifics, but it always involves aligning ourselves with His character and His work in the world. Nali Kali the name of the transformed school in India means joyful learning in English. How's God's transforming power leading you to the joyful learning of his will? Which areas of your thought life are mo most in need of God's transforming power? How willing are you to act when you clearly understand his will for your life? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.